So the question is, what if you want to manifest something, but your partner doesn't want that same thing? Some, someone once said that being in love is not looking at each other in the eyes. It's actually looking both in the same direction, you know? Before we begin, I just want to remind you to book your seat for the December 6th retreat on the Athens Riviera. Every first Friday, we have a wonderful retreat on the Athens Riviera. The next one is December 6th. The link is below. Well, it depends, I mean, on your relationship. If you're married, if you're planning to be with that person, uh, it makes a difference, obviously, because if you're at the beginning of a relationship and you have different uh, visions of what your life should be like, obviously it's not good to get onto that ship before it's even started. The ship didn't start. Um, onto the, you know, board that ship that's going, you're going, your ship is going that way, his ship is going that way. That, obviously, you don't want to, because obviously, Everything is, is negotiation in the beginning of a relationship. There are things that are said and not said. Even, you know, having a child, not having a child, how many children. I think a lot of people, they enter relationships without actually going into subjects like this. Like in the, our friend's case here, you know, she said to him, like, if you don't want to live in Greece, that's going to cause resentment in my, in my, life, in my marriage with you. That's going to cause problems. If you're before the relationship even begins, if you're having kids here and now, you know, the iron is burning, it's not exactly the time to go your separate ways. You know, you have to make it over certain obstacles. In a way, you three represent the three stages of a relationship. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I was just thinking right? that. We're just the you answer. are pre-relationship. You can negotiate to your heart's content. You do you and whoever wants follows along. You're in a more difficult situation because kids are coming up. You have a, a small child, another one might be coming up. And it's not exactly the time to say, I'll take the one baby, you keep the other baby. <laughs> uh, you have to think, or even if you're going to have a baby, you know, the, you're in a particular situation. Some people would say, don't have the second baby. So you can free yourself up to do what you want. Again, decisions, decisions, decisions. And in your case, you've had a long family life. Your kids are grown up, completely adult, completely independent. You can renegotiate. You don't even have to negotiate. You can exactly. just be here now as you are. And da, just, da, 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 da. you're here now. So I do think, but of course, there's a time for everything. You know, there's seasons. You know, we, we, we look at it as... Uh, seasons in in the year you know there's a time to to sow and a time to reap yeah if you're in the middle of sowing baby seeds not the time to uh, go off to the beach but once you've sown your seeds and they're they're growing yeah. or have grown yeah. then it's a time to reap and say honey I've done my thing yeah. you do you I'll do you I always love you we're always parents from a distance how's that sound for you Sounds amazing. Sounds good. <laughs> so simple. But I think uh, your point is, is the most correct in the sense that if you embody the energy, if you are making it happen, if you start making money in Greece, for example, so much money that your partner doesn't have a chance but to say, well, you know what, you're actually making more money than me, or now we're 50-50, I have to listen to you too. Whereas if the main bread earner his work is abroad, he's pulling you into his ship. If your husband is the main bread earner and you're following, you're on his ship, literally. You're on yeah. board his ship and he's, he's the captain. I mean, like it or not, if you've been the captain of your own ship, essentially, you're co-piloting the ship. That's what it sounds like, but in the end, it's who has, who's paying the bills. Yes. You're That's a, a fact of board. life. You're skipper. So... Yeah, but they shouldn't be the boss just because they're paying the bills. They are. 
When they pay, they De are. facto, they are. Let's, uh, you know, that's a nice romantic thing, but if the guy is paying the bills and you have a, one child, another child coming up, I don't know, whatever, the private schools, the this, the that, he's paying the bills. There's you a know. lot of women now that are paying the bills and the men. Yes, are, but that's what I'm saying. If yeah. you want to steer the ship a little better, a little more, you have to say, you know what? Guess what? I've had the one child. I've built up my online business or my resort business or my whatever business you want to build up while you have your one child without rushing to have the second child. And you're like, look, I've already built it. Now I'm 50-50 who's earning. It's, it, uh, it's going to come to that at some point. These are your options, I think. You know, unless somebody inherits something out of the blue, which may happen to you, I don't know. <laughs> you know, uh, Money is an energy, and he who has the most uh, money, or is the provider, literally, is going to be guiding that ship. It's not a, a fun thing. And then after several years, when the child is older, then you can make more moves. But you're dependent on him. First of all, you're pregnant. <laughs> you're breastfeeding. You're not in a position to, to start ruling uh, the, the whole thing. No. Okay, th you always have options. There's options like I'm keeping the babies and I'm going, but that's all drama. You don't want drama. You want to think ahead and prevent the drama. Nobody wants drama in their life. So you have to make plans. Sometimes there's sacrifice. You're like, you know what? I'll have the one child and uh, that's it. I'm going to control my destiny in that sense. You know, there comes a time where you've made your decision for you. And you start bringing more of it into your life. You're like, you want to live in Germany? That's fine. My weekends are going to be in Greece. I'm going to take long weekends. I'm going to take uh, a month in Greece. Uh, bye, honey. I'm doing me and you can follow along or live this distance relationship, you know, it's your choice. Like